trending news. See four reasons why Governor Baseki may defeat Pastor Ize Iyamu squarely. With the primaries of the PDP and APC concluded in accordance to the INEC guidelines, where Governor Baseki emerged the flag bearer of the PDP following his decampment to the PDP and Pastor Usagi Iyam flying the flag of the APC. The focus is now in the final election slated for September 19, 2020. Both the APC and the PDP have announced a campaign council for the election. The APC campaign council is headed by Governor Gandriji and the PDP campaign council is headed by Governor Wiki. The Edo State gubernatorial election will be a limit to the political relevance of Oshomole in Edo State after his unceremonious remover as the national chairman of the party and the political sagacity of Governor Obaseki. The reason is that Oshomole is determined and bent on stopping Governor Obaseki's second term bid because of their ir irreconcilable differences. And moreover, Pastor Osage Ize Iyam is his can candidate to replace Governor Obaseki. Here are these three reasons why Governor Obaseki may defeat Pastor Ize Iyam squarely. One, the developmental strike of Governor Baseki during his first tenure would definitely swear enormous and the vote to him and the PDP. There is a difference between I will do and I have done it. Pastor Iz Iyamu will be telling Edolite in his campaigns what he plans to do. Governor Baseki in his campaigns will be representing his core code for to Edolite, showcasing his achievement in the last four years. With the achievement of Governor Baseki in his four years stint as Governor, Edolite will rather trust him than Pastor Usagi Izeyamu and vote for him massively. Two, Edolite will listen to Governor Mwike leading the campaign team of the PDP and Governor Baseki, Dan Ganduji, who will be leading the APC campaign team, and Pastor Sage Izi Iyamu. Going by the intercedence of Governor Ganduji, and notably the dollar saga, Edolite will rather give their vote to Governor Obaseki. The president and majority of the seven governors are in support of the re-election of Governor Obaseki. As such, the ripple effects of federal, of federal might in the election be a minimal as the president will want to, well, as, want, as a, the president will want a level playing ground for all candidates in the election. The influence of Oshomole will be minimal in the election because of its removal as the national chairman of APC going into the election. He will not be able to mobilize both human and material resources to swore votes to the APC and Pastor Izzy Yam. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Wow. <laughs> This is a dream. So the PDP, PDP, APC should continue dreaming. My take on this issue is that these people must read the handwriting on the wall. The caliber of people on APC side are known to be election rigger, and they add, they are even. A, 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 a life, they have their lives. They know that they, they will definitely, their lives are going to be lost very soon. Example of this person, of these people, is uh, Yahaya Bilu. 
Ganduji and Omo Agege. PDP never sleep over it. These are lawless people. They are lawless mad gangs. Do they think that they will definitely win this election? I know that if the election is being won by APC, they will definitely rig the election. They will definitely rig the election because they are used to rigging elections. They can never change. This is why I don't like APC. I used to support APC before now, but no more. I no longer support APC. Yes. Not even for a reason. I don't support APC at all. A lot of people say that PDP cannot win the election in a new state. It's even preferable for PDP to win than APC. I used to like APC. I used to love APC. I used to support APC before. But now that I've heard a lot about people in APC, I regret ever voting for APC or supporting APC. Yes. So there are other factors like the way Obaseki was dropped by Oshomole's committee. It will draw sympathy for him. PDP themselves have an average number in Edo and coupled with a, with a large number that they camp with Obaseki. Yes. It is eight years for all. Obaseki carries, you should carry go. I know that now that Obaseki has joined PDP, definitely he's going to win the election. So, I think now a, a PDP should be the one to uh, to win in this um, governorship election in Edo State. APC used to be a, a party that used to be loved by people, especially me and some other uh, citizens in Nigeria. But now that um, we have a lot of corrupt people, people that are deceiving Nigerians in APC. So APC is now uh, a party that nobody wants to support anymore. People are now regretting ever supporting the party instead of PDP. Now PDP is what is on board now. PDP is on board now. So PDP, people has, uh, they, they have made up their mind to keep supporting PDP. So I think that Obaseki will, will definitely emerge the winner of the Edo, uh, Edo, Edo State governorship election and not uh, uh, and not easy yam. So Ganduji is just deceiving himself. Yes. Obaseki is the winner. He's, he's already the governor and not easy uh, 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 yam. Oshomole used to support, has been supporting easy yam since the beginning of this election. But now that Oshomole has been um, suspended by the court that is suspended as a chairman of uh, the party. I'm very much sure that the chance of Osage becoming the, the governor in Edo State is very slim. It's very slim. Yanduja is the one supporting Ezeyam, but bet me. Ezeyamu will never, will never win this election. Instead of Ezeyamu winning this election, people will prefer voting and bringing in Obaseki. That is it. So viewers, you have heard it all. What is your take on this news? If you have any comments concerning this news, don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget, share. I like this news as well. Thank you.